interesting, sleepy afternoon of RuneScape. Today's episode will involve me going on a quest, I believe the Draenor one this time. suggesting this direction. Oh, terrible connection options. Start this room mysteries quest then in the really really new really, really about all this place. Wait, I'm getting for that. Zelina, the tower is in danger. I need to speak to Archmage Cedridor. Oh, what's our mission, is it? I'm sorry, Ariane. The Archmage was clear. Maybe if you told me why, I could pass on a message. I didn't realise the door just opened and just walked through the fight. I can't explain. Listen, if the Archmage can't see me, perhaps I could speak to Wizard Eleron. I'm sorry, Ariane. You are barred from entering the tower for any reason. You can come in. It's only a few people who have been specifically forbidden. Practitioners of dark magic. <laughs> I told you it wasn't like that. I knew what I was doing. This is none of your business, outsider. No. Wait. I remember you. You helped me with the troll shaman in Tavoli. Will you help me again? Take a message to Archmage Cedridor for me. Depending on how he reacts, I may need your help with other things. in danger. I need to speak to Archmage Cedridor. I mean, I just, I just, I rolled back in. I was about to speak to this woman. I mean, I had that lovely time that we were filming in. I had to go off and then suddenly, if I come back on, it's like, I had several million experiences. I'm trying to speak to Sarah. I'm sorry, Aria. The Archmage was clear. Maybe if you told me why, I could pass on a message. I can't explain. 
Listen, if the Archmage can't see me, perhaps I could speak to Wizard Elleron. I'm sorry, Ariane. You are barred from entering the tower for any reason. What's happening to you? This is none of your business, outsider. No. Wait. I remember you. You helped me with the troll shaman in Tavoli. Will you help me again? Yeah, I'm the wizard Ariane. Ahem. I'm sorry. Just Ariane. I'm a former tower wizard. I'm an adventurer now, based out of the Champions Guild. Could you take a message to Archmage Cedridor for me? Depending on how he reacts, I may need your help with other things. Thank you. Just go to Archmage Cedridor and... And? Wait, no. Too late. There's something happening. What? By Sherrod Omen, the Holy Archmage! Be gone! Spirit of me abyss! Come on, my message can wait. Let's see what's happening. Looks like the are finally What? Oh, she's down. Cast air strike at the vortex. Draw it into the power beam. I have Grab Vorin's mind spike if you need one. He's dropped it next to him. Talk to me again outside the tower if you still want to help. Bloody useless wizards these guys are. Greetings, human! It looks like a cow combat.
can't believe Cedridor would set up a ward to keep me out. I didn't realize he saw me as that dangerous. There are schools of magic, besides the tower's standard spellbook. I used a forbidden source of information when I was trying to understand my premonitions. I want to find out. I know. I'm a seer. I have premonitions sometimes, flashes of information, emotional impressions, nothing precise. Lately, I've been having visions of the tower in flames. I don't know any details and I can't prove anything. I came here to investigate and now I find I can't get into the building. People talk about wizards having a gift for magic, but the first thing you're told when you join the wizard's tower is that it's not true. Magic isn't handed down by gods or random chance. Anyone can learn it if they put in the effort. But being a seer runs in families. It's not something I worked for. When I told the other wizards about it, they resented me. Mm -hmm. I tried to use my magic to understand and control my ability. My goal was to integrate it into magical theory so I could teach it to other wizards. But I ended up being expelled from the tower. I need you to go into the tower for me. Talk to the wizards and find out what's happening in there. Archmage Cedridor is the head of the tower, so you should talk to him. I think Wizard Eleron might help as well. He was my mentor while I was there. You should talk to the other wizards as well. Ask if they've seen anything unusual lately. One of them must have seen something that'll help us. my point of view, the human approach to magic is endlessly fascinating. If you're referring to that thing that attacked the librarian, however, I've never seen anything like it before. Never realized. Very for Irish. There's an old human called Triborn in this tower who's always talking about strange creatures. Maybe you should be asking him. Thank you for saving me from that thing. 
please keep my mind spike as a reward. Well, don't worry, I was going to keep it anyway. I'm going to give it back to you. I'll give it back to the It was horrible. It felt like it radiated evil power. It was a book. And you saw what color it was? Red. The color of a samurai. It was red wizards who burned down the tower a hundred years ago. This could be another Zamorakian plot to destroy us. You've got to do something. You do remember why the Zamorakians burned down the tower the first time round. As you can see, there are a lot of blue-robed wizards around. Originally, the wizard's tower was a place where Zamorakians, where anyone of any religion, could study. And then it went a bit sour to mist. And the Zamorakian people decided they would take what knowledge they could glean of their own studies and flip them. And for good measure they burned down the town. That's probably a ladder. Well, that was a good guess. What can I do for you, adventurer? <laughs> Wrong guy. So what? Unless the demon looks like him. Oh, I've read these things. Elements. That one must be it. What can I do for you on this glorious day, adventurer? I am the wizard Eleron, Grand Master of the Order of Saradumin, initiate into the inner circle of the Rune Mysteries, heir to the sacred tradition of the Staff of Fire. Impressive, no? <laughs> we wizards love to invent titles for ourselves. All it really means is that I'm one of the senior wizards of the tower. Are her premonitions still troubling her? I feared as much. Please let her know that I take her seriously, even if no one else does. I will do everything I can to convince Archmage Cedridor to take action. When I took Ariane on as my apprentice, she asked me to help her suppress her premonitions. She didn't want to stand out because of a natural gift. She wanted to stand out, if at all, by the work she put in. I told her that that was admirable, but it would be wrong to turn down an advantage the gods had given her. I helped her to harness her gift, to refine it, and to zamorak with what the other wizards thought. Yes, Aradonist. With hindsight, it shouldn't have surprised me when Cedridor expelled her just for using every source of knowledge at her disposal. See, suggesting she should use every source of knowledge at her disposal sounds more like a Zamorok thing than a Saradonist. But if you play that when the world wakes, you know Saradon isn't such a good guy. Yeah, she might be pleased. Maybe I'll tell her later if you look for Sarah. That old guy, hopefully he hasn't changed. He's changed. He was a lot younger before. Now he's got a white beard and he was more, shall we say, liberalist. What the heck is that? Welcome, adventurer, oh to the world-renowned Wizard's Tower. How can I help you? Oh, Sarah, oh, what have they done to you, my friend? Two, one year, you were really aged. Oh, good architecture. 
Thank you. I must admit we'd have lost if Trayborn hadn't helped. I've no idea what he summoned, but it certainly terrified the wise old man and that woman. Welcome, adventurer, to the world-renowned Wizard's Tower. How can I help you? The tower is the finest institute of magical learning in Mistalin, Ascania, or Kandarin. The standard adventurer spellbook and the teleportation lodestones are both products of Tower Wizard's research. Is that all you've done over the centuries? Most importantly, the tower guards the secret of the rune essence, which allowed human civilization to prevail over the monsters and barbarians and ushered in the fifth age of the world. I remind you, Wizardy fella, the barbarians were the first to discover magic. already know the adventurer's spellbook. For an adventurer like you, the best way to learn is to go out and practice casting spells. Isn't that a load of crap? You just short-sighted old man. What happened to you, Serador? What happened to you? Ah, they are the relic of a sad chapter in the tower's history. Originally, the wizards of the tower were not as unified as they now are. So there were orders devoted to different gods, notably Saradomin, god of goodness and order, and Zamarak, god of evil and chaos. I'd like you to take the word evil out there and goodness out of there. Saradomis was certainly an order kind of person, and the word is justice, not good. And justice is ne neither good nor evil. You should remember that, kiddies. And Zamarak is not a god of evil, just of chaos. Like the orders worked together for 70 years, but eventually the Zamorakian wizards betrayed the others and burned the tower down. I swear, Serador, the old one, tells you the other side of the story and says, Zamorakians only betrayed us because we pushed him. Blah. Liberal wizard out the window. Archmage Perian rebuilt the tower and forbade Zamorakian wizards from joining. The rebuilt tower has been united and at peace for a hundred years. Did you see that for the part, my friend? Yes, specifically the secret of the teleportation. The discovery of the rune essence and the ability to make rune stones was the single greatest magical discovery in the history of Gilinor. It allows anyone to produce magical effects easily and reliably. Oh, really. The rune essence lies in the frozen north, where the eye of Saradomin once rested. The first wizards reached it by an arduous land route, but eventually they discovered a spell to teleport there directly. After Zamorakian mages burnt the tower down a hundred years ago, Archmage Perian decided to keep the spell secret rather than let it fall into evil hands. Just so you know, you know, that's how I He's also known as the Fist of Guffets. Not the minigame Fist of Guffets, the actual Fist of Guffets. And it is known as the Stone of Jazz. We will cast the spell for anyone we think trustworthy. But the spell itself is an inner mystery of the tower and is taught only to select individuals. 
Christ laid on the teach me. Yes, I'm aware of that. Wizard Valina told me she was here. You can tell Ariane that her concerns have been noted. I'm preparing to deal with the anomalies in the power beam, so there's no cause for concern. You know what she did, don't you? Why are you telling me? Wizard Ariane was our most promising student. She could have been Archmage someday. I overlooked her gallivanting off as an adventurer. Everyone's reckless in their youth. But I can't allow a demon worshipper in the tower. The tower has had strict rules against Zamarakian wizards for the last hundred years. And I have to apply that, even to her. Well, I guess her hair is red. I can see that there is some evidence that she has premonitions, but unless she can give me more specific... Nothing you do, eh? I'm preparing an Icenic Purge. It'll send a surge of energy through the power beam, which should overpower whatever creatures have managed to enter it. Or empower them. Oh, goodbye. That's plan's probably not going to work. So why do these things go? Now, let's have a word with this guy. This Carborn. Hello, young thing of me, what? He looked more like Cerador when he was, gone when he was younger. Wow, he looks crazy. This guy is insane, was he? Insane. A wizard, say? Eh? You don't want any truck with that sort. They're not to be trusted. <laughs> That's what I've heard, anyway. How dare you? Of course I'm a wizard. Now, don't be so cheeky, or I'll turn you into a frog! I want a quest from Frank. Hello, young thing. I've seen them in the power beam, you know. Uh, they I like to look at the power beam sometimes. There are so many things we see every day, but never look at, aren't there? Or oh, look at every day, but never see. I see things in there. Thingamy watts. No one else sees them. <laughs> they think I'm mad. Didn't you know? This tower was built on the ruins of an old tower. Where it came from, the swirly thing. I saw it come up through the floor of the library. So we're talking about the ghost Can I do anything for you? I'm sure there's been something strange happening with the power beam lately. The beam acts as an anchor for all our teleportation spells. So, as a teleportation specialist, I'm sensitive to any fluctuations. Archmage Cedridor is aware of the problem. Perhaps you should ask him what he's doing about it. You? Yes, you can, my dear. Yes, you can. Hang on. I heard that commotion in the library earlier. I assumed it was Wizard Boran jumping at shadows again. I'm. A <laughs> stressful life in the librarian. If she's wearing wood armor, they seem to uh, be very, very useful for showing her assets. But in any case, it must be wood armor. Oh, member content. 
Yep. She's following me. Yep. Anyway. What can I do for you, adventurer? <laughs> Why are you stuttering, mate? You used to look like a dark mage when I was last here. I think wizard grey zags imps have been moving my n n notes around. I, I, I can't find the section I, I was working on yesterday. Grey zag for what? Keep up that thing you see. Okay. I'm going to ask you about how you got your ass kicked. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm no b b battle wizard. I'm, I just came here to unravel the mysteries of the universe. I'd help if Greyzag would leave me in peace. Uh, right. That must be Greyzag. The guy who's coming around there. So, you got the old fool his beads. Think you're clever, do you? Did I summon it, do you mean? Certainly not. Although, I am the only wizard in this tower with the expertise to guard and study it. It's been here longer than anyone remembers. I dare say some foolish wizard summoned it while meddling with forces they did not fully understand. Every time it's destroyed, it reappears on the same spot. So we built a containment ward around it and left it there. So! You got the old... You'd better watch your back! When you least expect it, I'll be there. You should... No idea what this guy's going to do. So! You got... Bah! We won. And nothing else matters. So! You got... Only wizard Mizgog's beads turning up all over the floor. I should send my imps to hide them before someone trips over them. Why don't you go and bother wizard Trayborn instead? Thank you for wasting my Have you learnt anything from the wizards in the tower? So what did you learn? He's the only tower wizard who was sympathetic. He convinced me to work on them, rather than suppress them. But that doesn't help us with the problem. We need to find out what these... I spoke to the demon, spoke to it, but there's no middle ground with Cedridor. Step outside the line and you're a red wizard. I've done more than speak to demons, I think they've been assisted one, has an oh wait no, has not really a demon. Wait a minute. Who's next? Through the library floor? But that means... It was something from the old tower. This tower is built on the ruins of an older one, which burned down a hundred years ago. The story is that Zamorakian wizards betrayed the other orders, but the details of what happened are a mystery. mystery we're I do know it happened just after the wizards discovered the inner secret of the rune mysteries. The rune essence teleport spell. Perhaps that discovery led to a conflict. The surface part of the old tower was destroyed by the fire, and the new tower was built on the same place. But the underground levels of the old tower are still there. Now that's some good old fashioned rock, basically. Good idea. It's not going to be easy, though. Archmage Perrion sealed the lower levels when he built the second tower. There's a rumor that the door can be opened using the water surge spell. But many wizards have tried casting that spell on the door and failed. 
It's more likely that there's a key hidden somewhere in the tower. Could you go back into the tower and find the key? I think Wizard Eleron will help us if we tell him what we're doing. You should stop. This tower is built on the ruins of an older one, which burned down a hundred... I do know it happens to the surface part of the... That's what I want to find out. What can I do for you on this one? Alas, even senior tower wizards aren't allowed into the ruins. I certainly couldn't tell the secret to a disgraced ex-wizard and an outsider, however much... One wonders what it is that generations of archmages have wanted to keep locked away down there. Forbidding a source of knowledge goes against the principles upon which the first tower was founded. And the first tower, as I remind you, was founded by all the wizards for the sharing of knowledge. But as we can tell, the Saradamists overran the damn system and used it as an opportunity to seize power for themselves and destroy the Zamorax. No one except Archmage Cedridor is allowed to know the secret of entry to the ruins, naturally. Ariane is a brilliant mage, but she has never mastered the subtleties of human interaction. The oath... No one except Archmage... You mean the rooms about water? Many young wizards have wasted rooms casting water surge on the door to no effect. A few, however, have speculated that the key might lie not in casting that spell, but in understanding it. Oh, what? It was the Archmage Perian, first Archmage of the New Tower, who sealed the lower levels. He had an idiosyncratic understanding of magic and its relationship to other arts. Perian had the pipe organ installed in the library, and he wrote a treatise on the relationship between magic and music. So, what play music? I'm using it. Just go out of the damn room. So conversation continues. Oh, the wonders of my fate. I don't recall saying anything of the sort. If you did want to read that book, though, for its historical interest, perhaps, you could find it...
the organ at least keep to the top manual it's quietest not even archmage cedridor could concentrate with a racket from the loud manual I was rebuilt I think the first archmage was a little eccentric in his architectural preferences what the hell are you mate? just let me play the damn thing No, no, I feel a fro freeze coming on. Oh. You place the diagrams from the book onto the organ keyboard as you sit down. Oh, my lord. Leave me alone.
I'm not going to do the entire collection, is that why? Autumn air uh, mine. Okay, I want to write this down. Water air mine. Two waters. Two airs. One chaos. Three waters. Three airs. Three deaths. Seven waters, five air, one blood. Oh, souls another one of these ones, isn't it? Soul rooms. Ten waters, seven air, one blood, one yeah. <laughs> and that should be all of that. Let's go back to playing this thing. So we need to do uh, one water, which would be we start with B. <coughs> Weird A, A. Uh, then we do two Bs, <coughs> two Airs, uh, Chaos. Which one is Chaos? E. <coughs> Then we do three waters, which is B again. Yep, one, two, three. Three airs. Three gas. Just G. And then we do seven waters. Three, four, five, six, seven, five airs. One, two, three, four, five. One blood. One, one blood. Ten. Waters, Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven hours. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, six, seven. Um, one, what was that? Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. I think it's one blood then one death. Can't remember what else it would be. Yes! Oh yes. Why did it take so long? Well, that was a very straightforward code. Oh, well, I'm going to use this. Oh, my old friend, common sense. Never failed me. Have you made any progress with getting the key to the old? Uh, yeah, the key. The key to the old tower. Oh, 
Who knows what's down there? There could be knowledge that's been lost for a... I just hope it's well preserved. It would be terrible for knowledge to be lost forever. The entrance is on the east side of the island. Come on. Oh, keep it outside the Where's she gone? Old friend Compass suggests we go this way. Notice I said, uh, any knowledge and take it, because I just put it right here. I'm going to quest where I've met all, all of the gods. Come on, open the door and let's see what's in the ruins. Whatever magic's down there is going to be using me. I'm going to be using the fight as damn gods. Is that the ruin? Is that the key? Where the hell is the ruin key? Amazing. We may be the first people to come down here for a hundred years. Wait till you see the other guy. This must be the Chamber of Shrines. The senior wizards used it as a meeting room, and wizards joining the tower would pledge allegiance to one of the four orders here. Saradu. Samurai, probably. Yeah, I remember the wizard's place out in the wilderness where you do the same thing and pledge allegiance to one of the three. I've read about it. But I never thought I'd see it. The greatest magical innovators of Gillenor once walked this room. And now look at the place. I hope. Yeah, anything that we can do, you know my mind, my friend. I wish we could spend more time exploring the ruins. If I can, I'll stay down here after we've done what we came for. The old tower was made up of wizards from all over the world, with wildly different philosophies of magic. They arranged themselves into four orders dedicated to different gods. Blue, green, red and grey. the hell was grey? We know three of those gods, who there was the last one? Saradim. The Blue Wizards worship Saradomin, god of goodness and order. He's the most widely worshipped god in human lands. That does not look like Saradim. The Blue Wizards believed magic could be used to help people and focused on non-combat spells. They invented most of the enchantment spells in the standard spellbook we use today. So Zaras invented... It's uh, offensive. Goofix must have done healing or something. After the first tower was destroyed, it was the surviving blue wizards who rebuilt it. The new tower is still a Saradominist institution, although these days a lot of wizards only pay lip service to the religion. That is the right thing to do. The green wizards worshipped Guthix, god of nature and balance. According to the druids, Guthix created the world and then entered a deep sleep. In reality, someone else created the world, he just came here. Before the rise of our current civilization, the other gods went to war with one another for control of the world. After millennia of fighting, Guthix awoke and banished them, so they could no longer intervene directly. Third generation. It was a follower of Guthix who discovered the rune essence, and the green wizards were the old tower's experts on rune crafting. They still are. Barbarians. Their statue depicts their founder transmuting a lump of rune essence into a stack of runes. Which one's the rune essence? Which one's the rune? Is that the rune essence? The ball thing? So I've asked about blue and green, so it's about red. The red wizards worshipped Zamorak. Most people today see Zamorak as a god of evil. But for the Red Wizards, he was a god of chaos, personal strength, and creativity. 
See that? Creativity and strength. Those aren't too bad qualities to have. Chaos, maybe, is quite a bad quality, but oh, well, that's good points. Legend has it that Zamorak was once mortal, but he stole the staff of a god called Armadil and used it to ascend into godhood. Their statue holds a staff in memory of that. Okay, I've, I've done... I already know the story. I don't know why they've got the staff of Almaldi up there. You know, how, how he goes is Zamorak wasn't exactly, you know, human or mortal. He was mortal as in the sense of the Mahajaran, who were hardly mortal in the first place. And he impaled an existing god with that staff in the same way that apparently Goofus became a god in a similar manner. The Red Wizards focused on destructive spells, especially ones involving fire. They invented most of the battle spells that made their way into today's standard spellbook. Now I want to ask about the order that has piqued my interest, the Grey Order, I don't know who they are. There are other gods besides Saradomin, Guthix and Zamorak. The Grey Wizards were those who worshipped lesser known gods, such as Armadil or the Menophyte Pantheon, or were non-religious. Are you screwing with me, my friend? Amaldi was before Saradim. Saradim liked Armaldi. Armaldi is a greater god than Saradim, alright? Secondly, that statue doesn't really look like Armaldi. The men fight gods. That a pantheon, a whole load of other gods. I don't know why you've given only one statue to them. Clearly there's some sort of racial bias against people from the desert here. As well as people from Can Kandarian. The Grey Wizards didn't invent many spells, but they made some of the greatest contributions to pure magical theory. Their statue's sword symbolizes a sharp mind cutting into the heart of a matter. Basically, Grey Wizards are useless in comparison to religious people, because they came up with nothing, they, they're just fear and rise. I can't help feeling Rinsley could become a bit religious. A bit. I'm wondering how long it'll take before someone puts down. You know, what's your religion? Oh, Zaros. Ah, uh, mate. My religion is good fix and they become recognized religions. We need to get deeper into the ruins to the source of the power beam. It looks like that rune guardian is blocking the door. Not for long. Let's go have a word with him. Seeing the ghost spoke to me without a ghost happening. it. Let's have a talk with this guy. Wizard, you have proved yourself worthy. All that remains is to determine the order to which you will belong. Are you ready to be tested? It thinks we're new wizards joining the tower. Originally, you wouldn't be able to get to this room without passing the entry tests. The only entry test for me is that down key. It's a rune guardian. The secret of making them was lost when the old tower was destroyed. It must have been standing at that door for a hundred years. Doesn't look a day past fifty. I will ask you a series of questions. Your answers will reveal the order to which you are best suited. If you disagree with your allegation, you may take the test again. I wonder if it even matters. The first question. I hope I get a good fix in the end. Let's just, I bet you, 50 gold, I get good fix. Right. Now, I, I kind of want to get the non-religious, the grey robes, because I, I must say I don't have grey robes. You are behind in your studies due to illness, and a test is coming up. Your place at the tower is safe. But if you fail, you will lose some respect. Another apprentice offers you an opportunity to cheat. I'll tell you what, you end up being, I bet you, you end up being a Zamorak supporter or a Grey Wizard when you say you will cheat. To hell with respect, my friend. She only has to make, the Ill, make up for the illness and catch up. No, my friend. Cheat as much as you can, such a Zamorak thing to do. Don't cheat, as I won't learn anything. I am a strong believer in learning, and if I cheat, I'll probably don't cheat as it would be wrong. Don't cheat as I would not be wrong. So that's a Saradimist answer. That's probably good fix. All the grey group. That's Zamorak. That may actually be the grey people. So I'm going to say you wouldn't. The second question. An 
elderly wizard, the last practitioner of a unique branch of magic, dies. Her diary might contain details about her unique magic, but her will states that the diary should be destroyed on her death. without reading it sounds like a Saradin thing to do. Me personally, I'd copy out the important information about the magic and then I'd destroy it. Because that way you're still keeping her wishes because you destroyed the diary. But at least the magic, the, uh, the knowledge is not lost. Because I know from so many quests how goddamn hard it is to have to go and find the bloody magic or rediscover it or create something new because some are Third question. A rival wizard is spreading lies about you and has made you the laughing stock of a nearby village. They believe you are of low intelligence and poor moral character and throw vegetables at you when you visit. What do you do? You laugh at me. Uh, challenge the wizard to a magical door from the village. I don't know if that would help anything. Try to reason with the village and convince them he's lying. Again, don't think that would do anything. Appeal to the wizard's better nature and ask him to stop. Play practical approach to knock him down a peg in return. So, uh, challenge the wizard to the magical door. That is pro that's like the Zamrak answer. Or Saradin, because that might be seen as justice. The reason why the villagers convinced that he's lying, that's reasoning suggests this is probably a great wizard answer. Appeal to his better nature. Nature word of importance here, that's Goofix answer. Play practical jokes knocking down a peg. That's that would be a Goofix thing as well. Oh that was that right. Personally I think I had reason to try reason with the villages, but that seems not like a good idea. I would have personally done something to show them that. is talented but undisciplined and does not apply himself outside his areas of interest. What is your approach? Right, constantly challenge him, forcing him to learn with discipline. Um, show patience and compassion as he is a safe so he has a safe place to go. Concentrate on his weaknesses so he receives a balanced education. Give him the resources to develop his areas of interest. Right, balanced education is good for cancer. Patience and compassion. So that's got to be a Saturday answer. Constantly challenge him, force him to learn discipline. Zamorak answer. Give him the resources to develop his areas. Must be grey. Before the ritual starts, 
you discover that he learned part of it from a demon. The ritual appears safe, but demons are expert liars. Oh. Right, nothing is ever as it seems, eh? Study the ritual and make up my iron mind about my own about safety. Stop the ritual and make corrupt in a way I can't detect. Make sure the demonic influence is bound by other influence. Go ahead with the ritual, but focus on my personal safety. So personal safety, that's Zamorak. Stop the ritual, make corrupt people. Gotta be sour at him. Um, make up my own mind, it's gonna be the grey order. Um, influences, balance by other influences, I've got to be go I think the safest thing you could do is to balance it. But if I don't know what I'm getting into, I won't be able to deal with the consequences. So I'll do that. You are balanced between two orders. A final question. Which of these do you value most? <sighs> oh, why are you asking me that question? I knew it would come between the Goofix order and the Down Grey order. I'm just too good a guy. I'm just too good a guy. I honestly value knowledge more than balance. I think that with knowledge you could establish balance. Ridiculous. Who would leave valuables lying around behind a statue? Besides, the tower's true riches were in the form of knowledge, nothing a treasure hunter would be interested in. Well, can you see anything? To hell with you, lovely. I am a treasure hunter, and knowledge is the greatest reward. That all feeling good. That's a statue of Eratona the Green who negotiated the treaties with local rulers that let the wizards transport runes from the essence mine. You can't just push her statue down. Your watch, boy. Come on. Oh, that's cheating, that is. Well, she's my gypsy. Old tower. The 
central spellcasting chamber where the old wizards performed their most powerful rituals. It's amazing. I never imagined I'd see it in person. Never mind a little of some crap. So do I. Most of the spells we use today were invented in this room. Wizards of all four orders cooperated for the sake of magical research. These vortices look like the one that attacked Wizard Boron. I want to find out what they are. I'll need you to attract a vortex into this circle and keep it there while I examine it. Never get this spell again. ghosts, but they're, they're soul fragments. Oh, what? I've heard about putting part of yourself into your work, but the old wizards literally put part of their souls into the power beam. Well, that's interesting. They must have wanted to create a very powerful magical effect. I don't know what they were trying to do, but whatever it was, it went wrong. Yeah, you're telling me, mate. All I see is colors. No one alive. Do you know what this is? I think this is what destroyed the first tower. And there was me thinking it was Wizards of Fire. I think there was an enchantment keeping the vortices here, but someone has removed it. Now, they're able to go up the beam to the new tower, and you saw the trouble they can cause. I can't tell, but it happened recently, within the last few days. It looks like we weren't the first people to come down here after all. I can replace the enchantment that was keeping the vortices here, but it'll take some time. While I do it, you need to go back to the new tower and delay Cedridor's casting of his Icenic Purge. The Icenic Purge floods the tower with energy, but these vortices are attracted to magic. All that'll do is draw them up into the tower and make it impossible to get rid of them. Okay. I can restore the enchantments that kept the vortices in the ruins, but I need to do it while they're still here. I don't know, but I'm sure you can think of something. If he's casting an Icenic Purge, he'll probably be in the library on the ground floor. Explore 
more once we finish dealing with these vortices. Are you serious? Okay, so I can't use the shortcut. Please be quiet, adventurer. My assistant and I are casting an Icenic purge, and we must have silence in order to concentrate. Please be quiet, adventurer. My assistant... Please be quiet, adventurer. My assistant and I are casting. That adventurer! Yeah. Colonel, I must insist that you step away from that organ! Job done. I will. Alright. Break my concentration once more and you will feel the wrath of the Grand Archmage of the Reborn Tower! Oh, I don't think you're going to... Job well done. Quickly, wizards! We must finish the spell at once! My ear hurts like hell. The purge is complete. Thank you, fellow wizards. Whatever these entities were, they could not have survived such a powerful wave of magic. Oh, I assure you they did. I suggest you leave the library and find your friend, Ariane. Tell her not to worry. We have dealt with the problem without any help. Load of crap. Well, I was close to having my life cut short there. I think that's the success on the side of knowledge. Can't talk to Let's go get on board here. Close, but I managed to restore the enchantments. The vortices are trapped in the ruins again. Thanks for your help, adventurer. I couldn't have done this without you. Oh, yes, sorry. 
I found some things in the ruins you might be interested in. They're yours if you want them. I'm going to head back down to the ruins to study the vortices. I want to find out what happened to the old tower and who released the vortices from the ruins. Meet me down there if you want to help. Ooh. Ooh, I got a little bit of that. Um, the gray got more. Yeah. Withdraw. Fifty. Told ya. Lost the bet. That's all if you want it. Oh, did you think I meant fifty k? Can go shove it up your ass. Until next time.